Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So, in this video, I'm going to show you the new features of Bolt. Bolt, in fact, has partnered with the company Expo. So, Expo is a company specialized in deploying mobile applications. And this partnership, in fact, has provided us with a new feature. You will find it here that Bolt can directly create an application that will be e mobile friendly. And above all, we can deploy it directly from an Expo account. That means today, when we request to create an application, we won't just need to create it ourselves and then upload it to the App Store or Google Play Store because that requires a lot of steps. Today, it can simply be done directly with the Expo account. So Expo, if I take the free version, it actually allows me to create up to 30 applications. In fact, by myself, and I can actually send it. There you go. It gives me everything so I can send it to the App Store. This version is there to start testing the first applications and send them to the App Store. It's very easy to do. So what you need to do is create an Expo account and of course have an account on it. Apple Apps and also Google Play because we will need to create accounts within to be able to submit applications. In the new update they have allowed this collaboration. It will give us the ability to directly send our ideas once they are developed without needing programming because Bolt will handle the development and thanks to the partnership with Expo it will act as the intermediary to send it directly to the Google Play Store or the App Store so we will try to see in this application quickly how we run it this collaboration to get a complete idea about the deployment before starting the video I wanted to introduce myself my name is Fieras. I am a doctor in artificial intelligence and I am a professor at the university. So if this is the first time you are watching my video, I invite you to subscribe here because I publish every day trainings, practical guides, tutorials on the latest in artificial intelligence and digital marketing. And for those who are subscribed, I wanted to give them a little gift. It's exclusive access to my pack of 100 courses. So do you find in the descriptions of this video, you will find the link to my e-learning platform with a special coupon and that will give you access to a hundred courses so there are approximately more than six thousand dollar videos in various fields marketing intelligence artificial so what are you waiting for to start and now I wish you good training so now we are going to try to use this new feature so now we can ask it to create a new application here I suggest doing it with Expo and here I just took a small test to ask it to make a sneak game, something very simple, just to see a little bit the way it will do the development. So now it will switch to console mode, and you will see that here, in fact, the files it will work on will be much more oriented towards mobile mode. So now it will obviously start installing the components, so I actually let it finish. It will take a few minutes to completely program the entire game for me, so it's just a very simple day. We will just see the output and uh, try to see how it goes with this new Expo partnership. And there you go, I have the result. But as you can see, it actually gives me a QR code that I need to scan with my phone, either an App Store or simply with an Android or an iPhone. And of course, you needed to install Expo. So this is an extension but that you will simply install on your phone. It is available on the App Store as well as on the Google Play Store. And don't forget, of course, to create an account. You will see that here on the Expo.dev site, you can create a free account. Once you have everything installed, you just need to go back to Bolt. And you will see there, I will show you, in fact, how I will simply scan. I will actually show you here my phone. I will share it with you. So this is my phone. So I come, I will actually scan this link. So there, it will load. You will see that it automatically just opened an application. So there, I will place the phone. So you will see that there, I actually have the application that has just been launched. So there, I have the game section. I have the part where the players are. So for game, I will click once more on Gate Replay. So there, we will play another time. There you go. So there. I actually have, if you will see here, I will show you. So this part there, in fact, this is where I can manipulate. Actually, the movement is obviously when it crashes, so it doesn't make a game. Well, I can actually ask it to improve that if I want. 
But there, in any case, I have my application, which is well installed. And this application there, when you see it, is an Android application. I can, of course, switch here to see the back office. I can ask it to add a user account for me. In any case, we can develop as we want. I can come back, so I'll just put this next to it like this. I'll come back here and I'll actually ask it to add a user account for me. So here, I'll tell it, build a user account like So here it will simply update this application as usual. It will switch to the code as you can see here and it will of course add this user section to the back office. But here at the same time we'll actually let it finish the development and we'll try to take a look at the deployment part deployment. So to do the deployment of course we will need to decide whether we want to do it manually or if we want to use Expo here, I'll leave you a link in the description which shows you the steps for deployment. Um, but before starting anything, it's important to go here and download our project. That is to say, you know, when I click on download, the entire project, as you see it here in a comprehensive format, will be downloaded to uh, my hard drive. This project, in order for me to put it online on the App Store or Google Play Store first, you will need, if I start talking, of course, here, we will talk about Google Play Store. We need a developer account, which is paid, of course, with Google Play Store. And here, of course, is the link to simply create that account. Once we have created the account, you will see that it will ask me to download what is called a JSON private key. There will also be, of course, a few steps to follow. And especially here, you will see that it needs... The files we need to upload are files that contain the information or the necessary files for Google Play Store to run them on their system. And here it tells you that they need IS build. And that's where Expo comes in. It's there thanks to Expo. It, when we take our project, we will find those files that can be created easily and automatically with command lines on Expo. So it will help us, in fact, in a way, in its project, in a very simple way to generate this kind of code. And you, we'll see that of course once we enter the folder of this project you will see that we simply need to run a few command lines and the program will be deployed the same applies uh, to the app store as well so it's the same thing so we need an account and also the terminal level in the directory of folders we actually run this command to deploy it here uh, in the documentation there is even a section where it shows you how to deploy it manually but manually it's much more complicated because it actually requires programming knowledge so as we said you have the choice to go here so follow the simple documentation with expo where it will actually generate the necessary files for us or do it manually please write to me in the comments here if you want us to make a video where I go step by step, meaning where, when we download our file, I can simply show you step by step. We can try to take an account on Google Play and the App Store, and I will show you how I deploy. I actually put these files online and launch my project to ensure they are in production mode. Don't forget that on the App Store or Google Play Store, there is always a review phase. This means a phase where they will check our application to ensure it doesn't contain viruses and is legal. And afterwards, the system will display our application so that everyone can download it. If you are interested in seeing exactly how I do it step by step, just right here in the comments, App Store or uh, Google Play Store, and I will make a step by step video for you how to do it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comments. I do my utmost to answer all your questions. And if you like the video and want to see the latest updates, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you soon.